What's up everyone, welcome to your fifth networking tutorial. And in this tutorial we're going to be going over the data link layer. Now if you remember your uh, OSI model, let me bring it up. As you can see I drew in it from last tutorial. But this is the second layer from bottoms up. Uh, it's called the data link layer and it sits on top of the physical layer. Now what the data link layer does is took is it takes all those bits we were talking about remember uh... let me get something to draw on right here remember all those bits were ones zeros and ones one zeros all that binary code and it formats it into something called a frame now what a frame is is pretty much a unit of data that goes over your network and it contains uh... your address information so it contains uh it's pretty much all of your data but it contains all of other data too if that makes sense so it's pretty much all these ones and zeros but it has things like the address of your computer of where you're sending it from the address of your computer where you're sending it to it also does some other cool things like check for errors on your data and stuff like that so for example what we have going on so far is a connection between one computer to another and remember the cable between it is called the physical layer physical layer is pretty much anything you can touch now what the data layer is it takes all the ones and zeros and it pretty much puts the address on them says so this is your address and this is your address what's gonna happen next I didn't tell you yet because we're not to that tutorial now but that's what pretty much the data link layer does. It pretty much puts all your ones and zeros in envelope, and the data link layer stamps the envelope and puts the address on it. Bam! Perfect analogy right there. So another thing that the data link layer does is it check for um, incoming like duplicate signals or anything like that. And if like it gets a duplicate signal or a uh, like only a part of the signal is received then it says whoa whoa take it easy Bessie go back send that to me again I didn't get uh, that entire signal and this might be because like um, again let me uh, let me get rid of this come on delete delete uh, if you can remember from the last tutorial um, I had something like an analog wave that had different waves like this and you can have something called interference and this can be like uh, interference from outside radio stations um, a radio in your house, a microwave, uh, even a ceiling fan or something like that so if you get interference in any of these then the data layer links job is to say alright go back send that to me again and also another thing it does as I said before is get the address of one computer to another and this is called the MAC address or physical address so if you're wondering alright well, what the heck are you talking about this is um well let me just show you um let's see if I can find it on my computer accessories command prompt right here now um let's go to cd backslash now hopefully you guys can see this now I'm not going to show you guys my actual um, address on my computer because I don't want anyone trying to send me crap through my network but pretty much to, to uh, find all your information go to your command prompt right here type in CD and then go to backslash like that and this will take you to your root uh, command actually you don't even need to do that but uh, always a good idea next type in IP CONFIG space slash all and make sure I don't know if that that's a front slash I guess then press enter now uh, once you press enter this is gonna list all of your address that your data link layer uses now I'm not showing you guys there's actually stuff on the right side of here but I'm not gonna show you guys what any of that is in your physical address is the address that your um, that's the one your data link layer uses. It actually uses all these addresses right here. Um, the physical address should be under a uh, local area network connection or local area connection. So that is pretty much um, the, f the addresses that the data link layer uses. That's just a nice little uh, side note. You don't really need to know that. 
but that's pretty much how the data link layer works you can understand it a lot more when I teach you guys the other layers you pretty much need to know all the layers and see how they work together before you can learn just one but that's a nice little uh, side tutorial so again learn the data link tutorial um, it pretty much puts an address on everything that's a summary of it and checks for errors and in the next tutorial we're going to be going over the network layer of the OSI model so I hope you guys enjoyed make sure how to learn how to do the command prompt and I will see you next time thanks